What up YouTube, Doug here, TWT Bulls, Thursday night video. Here's the Susio and Lexi puppies at six weeks old. So I'm gonna get some footage of them playing for you. And then I'm gonna show you guys where we keep them when they hit this five, six week old age. But look how crazy they look. All right, Dad, you can put them in there. I'll get some video so you guys can see these compact, thick, muscular, muscular little gorillas playing. Look at them, they're wild. They're probably both gonna go to the bathroom right away check them out check them out so yeah all of our exotic bully breedings that we have coming up and that we're doing they're all going to involve that combination of the bape and the tug blood a lot of people like to ask me and a lot of people in the exotic bully world like to always talk about you know the pedigrees and the bloodlines so bape has been taken to tons i mean i think to every possible exotic style dog out there but what Brandon Rogers and Josh Hillier did down in Georgia, combining the bape and the tug blood, I feel like just turned into some crazy, crazy, you know, the reason I'm sticking with it, which mission you guys know, Lexi's dad mission, Legend's dad mission, he's a combo of bape and tug blood. And that's the combo that to me just brings such consistency in the bone thickness, the rear muscle, the compactness, the short and thick bulls, you know, just next level, not your average bullies. So with Legend, with Lexi, with Champ, I mean, we're set up to have that combo in all our breeding. So I'm just confident all our breedings have the same consistency, short and thick and crazy. But look at these two girls playing. So I put them out here in this playpen just really to get the video and to let them get some exercise. But I'm going to bring you inside and show you when they turn around five, six weeks old where we keep them and, you know, and feed them and let them stay until pretty much they go to their new home. But look at these little pups, six week old. I mean, it's just crazy to be so small and tiny, yet with such big dog features. It's just absolutely wild. Look. Yeah, we'll hold them up so they hold still. Look at that bone thickness. So yeah, all our breedings, they're all gonna have that bape and tug. I won't do an exotic bully breeding that doesn't have that bape and tug blood in some combo. I mean, it's just, it really is outrageous, the quality. And you almost have to see the puppies in person really to they're just they're just absolutely wild so i knew lexi our uh, mission daughter would would pull it off she's about to go to the bathroom then i'm going to take you guys inside and show you what we found works the best i've seen people use uh just tons of towels and blankets i've seen people use wood chips i've seen people use all different setups because what happens is once the puppies start eating real food and the mom stops cleaning up after them They'll just start. The more you have, the more it is. But they start pooping and peeing everywhere. I mean, it's just like nonstop poop and pee. So what we found, let me take you in here. You guys know we raise and keep all our puppies in the house with us. So what we found works the best is these Midwest puppy play pens. They come in different sizes. We have two of them set up here. You can keep multiple puppies in one. So dad, you wanna put her in there? And I'll show you. So we, they each have their food in there, their water in there, and their little bed in there. And the floor is very thinly graded. So pee and poop and debris can fall down into the tray underneath where it's easy to clean. And uh, the, the grates are small enough where it doesn't hurt their feet and their feet don't fall through. Uh, you see Bunny and Blueberry or Frenchies are in these cages, but you see the bottom of them is a wider grate. So a little five, six week old puppy can't really fit in there. But in these puppy cages, it's just the best. They can, you know, walk around, they spill their food, they poop, they pee, and for the most part, they stay clean. And then when we, they do start getting dirty after they eat, or, you know, if some of the poop doesn't fall all the way through, we take a baby wipe and clean them real quick. But I think these cages, as far as whelping goes and keeping your pups clean and healthy, I think these cages are a big... A big win I'm surprised I don't see a lot of breeders using these for that whelping age and I think it would benefit a lot of people to use them and like I said we only have two pups so we have them just getting used to being by themselves but you could have multiple pups in one you know a big big upgrade from just towels it's or a baby pool like or wood chips so weeks old. yeah around 10 weeks old you can switch them to the regular cages but I tell you what the um, when you use those wood chips it's really dusty it dries them out it gets in their food and water then they start getting poop smeared on their body and you getting hungry one of the ways to keep them from having any kind of issues is to keep them really really clean yeah they're getting hungry now but there they are six weeks old i just couldn't be happier uh, with what lexi and legend are producing now 
and I can't wait for the up and coming to see Champ. I know his will be the same thing because he has that same, like I was saying, that bape and tug combo. It's just consistency all day long. I mean, this girl is so thick, it's just crazy. And this girl is so tiny and cute. I mean, we're real happy with this litter. Awesome pup, six weeks old. And uh, look at Blueberry and Frenchie. Look at uh, Bunny and Blueberry looking on. Two tiny little Frenchies in their cages. They want to get out and have their playtime. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it from when they're, you know, five and a half, six weeks till they go to their new homes. This is where they'll eat, drink, you know, spend the night. And we'll get them out in some of those play pens to get playtime and socialize and stuff. But this is, yeah, this is where we keep them. Now, this weekend, we're going to give them their first set of uh, puppy shots. And then I'm really going to get them out on the grass running around with me. And that's when it's fun. So um, I was going to do it today, but it's so wet and rainy. And we just haven't given them the first set of shots yet. We're going to do it this weekend because they officially turned six weeks old on Saturday. So I can't wait to get them out in the grass running around. It's just so much fun watching the way they follow you. But I figured I'd let you guys know about these cages just in case you're having a litter or whelping a litter. Uh, man, they make a huge, huge difference. And that, like I said, they come in probably a ton of different brands and a ton of different sizes. But uh, man, they are awesome. They're the real deal and we're loving these puppies. I'm so sad I only have two or three more weeks with them. They look so incredible, but I'm just real happy to, uh, to be, you know, with Legend, with Lexi, with Champ, keeping that bape and tug combo and all our breedings, having that consistency. Woo, man, there's some bad mini bulls. So again, guys, I appreciate you for watching. appreciate you for subscribing. Hope you like this update on these pups, and I'll catch you on the next one.